Hello Scorpio, welcome to your What's Up Buttercup confirmation reading. So we're going to be starting with the Tarot of uh, Moon Garden. And this is going to be a reading that's going to confirm what you may have suspected. You know, we all have intuition and we all have that little voice. But most of the time, what do we do? We ignore it. <laughs> we say, no, that can't be true. And so this reading is to confirm what you may have suspected. Ooh, interesting reading. So, wow. So I just did something I hadn't done with other readings and I'm gonna show you Scorpio because I happened to look at the bottom of the deck and you got the full card and I'm gonna point out the three legs. See, cause what I noticed in this deck a few of the characters have three legs or three arms. Um, notably here, the Fool is a new start, and this would be an overall new start. Your card, Scorpio, you start with the Three of Swords, which is healing. So you may have gone through something. Uh, according to the cards, you've definitely gone through something. And now the Three of Pentacles is about working as a team on something. So this to me talks about a project that um, didn't go as planned, um, very hurt by it, very upset by the whole thing, and now it's starting to work. And that's why the fool is here. And I, I find it interesting because as I pick up this Scorpio, I'm gonna do something. This has been happening a lot lately in my readings and I'm not sure what it's about, but I'm going with it for you. So Scorpio, healing heartbreak possibly working hard three pentacles working together though so to me it could be working together with the very same person that uh you experienced this uh, heartbreak the three of swords with a new start and the three feet is there's two solidly here and one going what I'm going to say is forward in relation to the motion of where my cards are. So to me, this is saying you guys got it together. You're working together now. That's the Three of Pentacles. There's unity, which with the butterfly here to me implies that there wasn't unity before. Could be dealing with the Cancerian, but the Chariot card coming together, the yin, the yang, movement forward, the Fool card you very strongly here you know seven of swords seven of swords is only partial success so whatever you were doing before it didn't succeed completely and that's probably why you have the three of swords here the nine of cups you needed to make that wish and to believe that it could actually happen see here she is she's daydreaming this to me with the nine of cups i i really feel like telling you you need to maybe slow down and daydream Imagine what you want to happen. Imagine everything working perfectly, working out. And that's how you get it. And let's see, look at that, Queen of Cups. That would be you, lover of luxury. She's a water sign. She could be Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. To me, look at that. Big, beautiful wings, the cup. She's got everything lush growing around her. So I'm, I feel like saying that's good. You get the idea now that Things are going to work out. You can have to work together. When you start working together, you know, things move along now. Oh, so these are the mystical Lenormand cards. Let's get you a couple for Scorpio. Okay, ah, the person card. This is a man or a woman, could be someone of masculine energy, and the ring. The ring card is an engagement. Now, because of the way the cards came out and this being a three of pentacles, I personally believe that this, this could be an engagement, could be a relationship that went, uh, you know, went off the rails and things weren't working out, but now things are getting better and there's an engagement. This also to me, because this is not specifically a romantic reading, could mean there was a business uh, venture that, was started and it wasn't working out and the three of pentacles is now things are starting to come together 
the full card, things starting to move forward and you're starting to see progress now. And here, here he is, and this is an agreement. This is uh, contracts uh, being fulfilled, you know, because what's, it, what's an engagement ring or a ring? It's a promise to move forward. And so I feel like things are starting to move forward. There's, if there's a contract that was coming up for you, it's coming up for you now. And yes, it's going to be coming out. It's gonna be working out, I love it. Let's see, Scorpio, get you another card for Scorpio. That one won't go in, so we're gonna take them. What do we got here? The first card that came out is Turbulence. The mind is murky in rough waters. In other words, when everything is going wrong, you're gonna, you have to calm down. You can't, you don't think clearly then. So get, find a way to get centered, get grounded, go outside, walk barefoot on the grass, hug a tree, quite literally, sometimes just putting your hands on a tree and, you know, just taking a big breath and looking around and saying, you know, wow, this is incredible. You know, where I live now, you see my pictures. They have the most incredibly blue sky. And it's, it's very good when your mind is murky and you're all like scattered, it's a great way to go, okay, I'm good. Patience, the tide will come in when it's ready. Yeah, things will work out. And that's what your reading is about. Things are gonna work out. Just gonna take some, what, like the seven of swords. Yes, you only got five. There's, there's two still sitting there stuck, but it's going to work out. Determination. Don't be afraid of the rising tide. It will soon recede. Everyone is, most of the readings, are, people are getting, the signs are getting determination because I really feel like it's almost like the universe is, is testing us. And right now, I think what Saturn just went retrograde and Saturn is the taskmaster, master. So, you know, what have you been working on? Uh, you might have to go over something and work a little harder to get that forward progress and whatever you're talking about. But this is confirmation that yes, you can have that forward progress, but take the time to ground yourself. Take the time to daydream and imagine your success. See it so that it can come to be real. I know that sounds crazy. The law of attraction, the book, The Secret, if you really get into it and you start testing it, it, it works. I mean, I'm not saying that I would say I'm going to have a $5 million to show up on my doorstep tomorrow, but test it in possibility, real life possibilities. You know what I mean? For you, your circumstances, whatever. But um, I hope I'm just not babbling. <laughs> Thank you, Scorpio. Please let me know if it resonates. I wish you the best. Good luck. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bye-bye.